Award-winning actress Inse Ikpe Etim uh, explains why she removed her womb. Okay, so this is a very touching story, mm -hmm. and I think we should start with both ladies on set. Mm. You know, this is one thing I've always been talking about. Like, let's forget about the fact that she had to do this because of a health issue, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy that she came out to share this story. I mean, yeah. she said she didn't even know she would be able to share this story ever. She would have just left it at, oh, my husband and I don't want children. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to get to that point where we understand that you don't need, it's, it's not a must that yeah. a woman must have a child. Mm -hmm. like, and then people is, have been pressurizing her. I mean, that's almost everybody pressurizes right, everybody now. They are womb watchers. Once exactly. you're married in the next exactly. six months, why is not... the belly not moving? Mm -hmm. When is the baby coming? Oh, so we want to come and eat rice. Yes. You know, you pursue people into marriage and mm -hmm. then you're pursuing them into having children. But yes. whatever anybody wants to do, mm -hmm. until they learn to mind their business, mm -hmm. we all need to understand that it's not necessary that a woman must bring forth a child, a child. Yes. to this world. Okay, yeah. all right, thank you, Elsie. And even backing up on that, mm -hmm. um, I've, I've asked before, because I was saying I'm too Western, but I've asked before, like, is that a is that a cultural thing? I say, yes, it's good intentions, but I don't think so. I think you bask it in good intentions, mm -hmm. and you think it's good intentions, but really it's, it's not. not. Mm -hmm. Because whether or not I have a medical condition, I can decide to not have kids. And people don't know that yes. or respect that. Uh, or, uh, and it's almost like the, the minute that I'm married, first mm -hmm. of all, if I'm not married, it's already like, oh, it's mm -hmm. not a old woman enough. Then mm -hmm. if I'm married and I have to have a child to yeah. be fully complete, mm -hmm. I, I absolutely agree that that's different. Yeah. I think this lady, even if she doesn't have you know, a womb to carry her own child. If she still wants a kid, there's a lot of options. It's 2019. Yeah, which she will consider. If, yeah. and, and if she doesn't even want, want any of it's, that, fine. it's up to her. As long as both of her, both of them, she and her husband agree. Yeah. And then she, she said one, one thing that was touching was when they told her, you and know, he squeezed her hand. and he squeezed her hand. That mm -hmm. was so touching and mm -hmm. so like in support, yeah. showing his support. But I don't know what if his take on this is. Dear future wife, whether you want a child or not, we'll be fine. I love you. If you can say that because you already have any a child. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I wasn't going to say anything. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love you. It's not compulsory, it's not mandatory for a woman to have a child. In well, if I do you think it's easier for you to say that because of... Um, no, it's not easier for me to say that. I just think it's about choices. If we're fighting for equality mm -hmm. and if we're fighting for rights of people's choices to be upheld, then I think if a woman, if you want to be with anyone, if she tells you before, and look, I don't want to have a child, then mm -hmm. it's left to you to carry on or call it... I think the difference between that and this situation is that she doesn't have that choice anymore. Mm -hmm. That's the only sad bit about out. it. Yeah. Like if I, if my, last I checked, my woman is working, so I have the choice mm -hmm. to, to have a child or yeah, not yeah, have a child. The difference between hers saying. is that she can't actually carry hers and that's mm -hmm. the sad yeah, bit. She can't carry hers, but she can have a child from her husband using other women. That's what I'm saying. She has other options, 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 but I mean, like carrying a child. There's something about carrying yeah. it. Yeah. She doesn't. She when you when you've been taking adopted. when you've been taking when your chance your choices have been taken away. That's the hurtful part. That's mm. all I'm saying. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's not even forget. You know, to say uh, what you know a little on this um, problem that she actually has. It's yeah. um, adeno adenomyosis, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, and um, it's really. I, I thought like if you would give us a lecture on this because. Yeah. Of the just, it just means um, you're taking um, the first layer of the uterus, and mm -hmm. that means you can have a child. And, yes, oh, that's well done, well done, Ife. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and also, I think the lining of yeah, your uterus as well um, mm -hmm. gets strained, and your muscles start to tear. So, mm -hmm. when I read that, I was just feeling like, wow, this man has been in so much pain. Yeah, that means if you don't have a child, well. death, you're probably mm -hmm. going to bleed to death. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Mm -hmm.